boys and girls. Welcome to Mike's Inspiration Station. My name is Willie Willow. Mike thought it would be a good idea if I introduced today's project, trees. You might say I know a little bit about them. You know, being a tree myself, you're gonna learn how to draw and paint trees. So, without any further delay, here is your inspirational artist, Mike. Thanks, Willie. And hello to you, boys and girls. Trees are amazing, aren't they? They are the longest living things on Earth. And may I add a little wisdom, Mike? Sure, BT, let's hear it. Trees are mentioned in scripture many times. In Genesis chapter 2, verse 9, it says, And the Lord God made all kinds of trees grow out of the ground, trees that were pleasing to the eye and good for food. In the middle of the garden were the trees of life and the trees of knowledge of good and evil. Awesome scripture, BT. Thank you. My pleasure, Mike. Okay, boys and girls. Let me teach you how to draw and paint trees using some simple techniques that are easy and fun to do. Drawing a tree using colored pencils. All right, let's start our tree. I'm lightly sketching the tree and then I'll go back with my colored pencils and I'll color it in. Did you know there are over 30 kinds of trees mentioned in the Bible? Some of the trees mentioned in the Bible uh, are the box tree, the fir tree, juniper tree, palm tree, oak tree, willow tree, and many more. And scripture tells us that Jesus is the vine and we are his branches. Here I'm starting out with my lightest green. And of course I'm using the side of my pencil just like that. Notice I can cover a large area quickly. I'm being very loose. The edges of the tree's leaves are very rough, so you don't have to be so perfect on the edges. Just fill in this tree like this. Now I'm going to go back with this darker green. You see that? So far I'm using two shades of green, a light green and a dark green. I'll shade that in like so. See that? I'm being very loose, very loose. When you put colors on top of each other, it's called layering. This darker green really helps to separate the branches. And because my light source is coming from the upper right hand corner, I'm shading the left side of our tree. Now I'm going back with a yellow colored pencil and I'm going on the top of the two colors that I've already applied, the dark green and the light green. And now this yellow really enhances it or makes it a little bit brighter. Let's work on the tree trunk. There's my light source. So the left side of the tree trunk will be shaded. And I'll do that with this brown colored pencil. I'm being very loose. I'm coloring the tree just as if I was sketching it. Very loose. Now I'll indicate some branches that you might see through some of the leaves. When you put colors on top of each other, it's called layering. There. Now I'll continue putting some shading on this tree trunk here. I'll accent one of the roots right there. Notice it's giving it shape now. Look at the shape. It's 
Starting to take form, isn't it? Now I'll add some green beneath the tree on the ground, right by the roots, this medium colored uh, green pencil. Now I'll go back with my lighter green. Just like that. This black colored pencil works well to put some shading beneath the leaves by the tree trunk there. Right in that area where the leaves meet the tree. Now some nice shading on the left side of the roots. Look at that. Don't be afraid to mix your colors and experiment. Look at that, it's nice and dark there so it separates it. Now some darks on the branches right there. Now with this other green colored pencil, very loose rough edges to, just to indicate some leaves on the edges of the tree. Still using the side of my pencil and I'm very loose. The left side of the tree is shaded and the right side of the tree is where the light is hitting it. Now the tree is starting to have some dimension now, some shape. There we go. Look at that. I'm using the side of my pencil and, and I'm creating these rough edges. Now you can see some texture in the leaves and you can also see texture on the tree trunk. Did you know the bark on the redwood tree is fireproof? Wow, that's really interesting. Look how this dark green is creating great separation in the leaves. Different sections of leaves with different shapes. Now I'm going to take this yellow colored pencil and go right over the trunk of the tree. And it just brightens it up, doesn't it? As if the sun is shining and it's reflecting on the trunk and on the leaves. Some more yellow on the leaves. Look at that. It's amazing how putting colors on top of colors really, really works well. That yellow really added some life to our tree. Now some more darks right in that area there where the leaves meet the trunk of the tree. I'm going to add some darks. And that's really going to help separate it. Look at that. Look at that. Very nice. Our tree is coming to life. I'm in sketch mode. Very loose. Clumps of leaves. You see that? And the leaves would be casting a shadow right below here. Now I'll indicate some some more darks, some shading below our tree here on the ground. And there you have a tree drawn with colored pencils. Drawing a tree using markers. I have a wide tip marker and a fine tip marker. Now I'm going to draw a silhouette of a tree. And a silhouette is a black object against a very light background. I'm going to start out with the wide tip marker. And this jagged line here will be the start of my tree. And it's on the ground, so I'll draw this sloping line like so for the ground. Now I'll make the tree trunk thicker by just going back using this wide marker. And you can manipulate or move the tip of a wide tip marker to create some fine lines too by manipulating for twisting the point of my wide tip marker, I can create thick lines as well as thin lines. And you do that by positioning the marker in your hand so that you're using just the point of that wide tip marker and not the flat side. Now branches coming off of branches. Just keep adding branches. I'm adding a lot of branches so the tree looks nice and full 
all these branches extending outward branches off branches some branches right there to the right let me darken in the foreground a little bit with my wide marker I think some branches right here would look good let's just continue adding branches one right there now some more branches coming off on the right side I'm still using the Y tip marker now I'm still creating some more branches all right I'm using my fine point marker and I'm adding some small leaves very small this particular tree has very small leaves and they're very sparse and I'm being very loose see how I'm moving my wrist I'm very loose the tree is at the point where it's lost a lot of leaves perhaps it's fall and part of the leaves have fallen but yet there's still enough leaves on the tree to look interesting oh let's add some more branches it's fun drawing trees take your sketch pad and go outdoors and sketch trees from real life just remember to be loose and have fun when you're sketching or drawing it's very important to be loose in order to be loose you have to take all the tension out of your wrist the bottom line is relax when you're drawing or sketching or painting now I'll indicate some grass coming up from the ground just some grass right there on the foreground now some more leaves all in black and white very nice as I continue to add more leaves and more small branches the tree is starting to look much fuller now I think that's enough leaves I'm done with the black marker now I'm going to use this white colored pencil just to add some highlights to the left side of our tree look at that it's giving it a little dimension now and some shape just using a white colored pencil look at that very nice that was cool let's move on to the next project drawing trees using colored markers remember when you're using markers think about what you can do with the tip of the marker and which direction that you can use your strokes to create the tree or whatever it is you're drawing I'll just continue to fill in this tree using this medium colored green marker right here I'm going to add some shading so it's important to remember where your light source is coming from and that way you'll be able to determine exactly where you want to put your shading shading is important because it gives your drawing or your painting dimension shape and form now I'll draw a tree trunk the trees trunk with the brown just like that now let's go on to the next tree a very simple pine tree like a Christmas tree look at the direction of my marker now all my lines are pointing upward now all my strokes are going upward look how I'm utilizing all these upward strokes continue upward with those same strokes tapering it off smaller as you get to the top and there you have a spruce tree or something like a Christmas tree and just like this tree I'll add some darks and because my light source is coming again from the top right the bottom of these branches would be shaded very simple these upward strokes create the look of a spruce or a pine tree and there's the tree trunk all right let's go on to the next tree look at these radical drooping leaves on this tree and look at the strokes I'm using each tree I used a different stroke with these markers look at that from creating thin lines to broad strokes notice the way I'm utilizing the tip of this marker in the strokes that I'm using it's all in practicing using the tips of your markers 
You'll be surprised how many effects you can achieve. Again, it takes practice. Using these types of strokes accents the tree's shape, almost like a willow tree. Now I'm using this gray just to indicate a very simple uh, tree trunk and it's a very light colored gray so I might go back with a darker color right over the top. Indicate the uh, roots or the bottom of the tree. There we go. Now I'm using a darker brown right over the top of the gray. Look at that. And I'll shade it in right there. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going back with my darker colored green and let's put the shading in. And I'm using the same kind of strokes. Very loose, very sketchy strokes. Now I'm going back with that lighter green, that medium colored green right over the top. Look at that. And I'm using the same kind of strokes. Very sketchy strokes. Very loose. Add some texture to the edges. See that? Some more shading to make the leaves look clumpy and rough. Very simple trees done in marker. Now I'll just indicate the, some grass on the bottom of each tree so they look like they're on the ground. And there you have it. All right, onward to painting trees using watercolors. For my first watercolor tree, I'm using this flat edge brush to block in the leaves with these broad strokes. And I'm not trying to be perfect because the edges of a tree, they're not perfect. I've added some more green, just a little bit darker, a little more concentrated, just so that the green is darker on the edge to create some shading. You can see that my light source is coming from the right hand side. That's why the left side of the tree is shaded. The tree's trunk, just like so. See how you can make thinner strokes with this flat edged wide brush, just by manipulating it in a certain way. Some branches coming up into the tree. Now I'm using a yellowish green and I'm accenting really enhances it or makes it a little bit brighter like so. Now I've taken this wide tipped brush and I'm going to just stipple or dab the brush. I've dipped it into some dark green and I'm going to dab the brush on top of the area that I just painted and look at that. You can almost see the leaves. It's giving it texture. The appearance of small leaves like a stipple effect or a dotted effect. Now some branches that you could see within the tree. And there you have a very simple technique for painting a tree. Now I'm going to take these watercolor pencils, uh, different shades of green and browns and, and this yellow. And I'm going to sketch the tree in first with my watercolor pencils. Now with watercolor pencils, you start your sketch first. Just draw it like we were using the colored pencils earlier. I'm keeping my darks to the left side of the tree. Dark green, very simple. Look at that. I'm going to uh, sketch in the tree trunk. And I just love watercolor pencils. And when I'm done sketching my tree with these watercolor pencils, I'll add water on top. Now I'm using this lighter green watercolor pencil right over the top of my dark green. Just like that. Now I'm going over the top of the light and dark green with the yellow, like so. Now I'm going to wet my brush 
And watch what happens when I add water to the surface of these watercolor pencils. And look at that. Look how the watercolor pencils are reacting to the water. All those colors will mix. Look at that. Now you can see where the yellow and the lighter green were, how they're mixing and creating that nice golden green color. Very nice. It's interesting how water does react with these watercolor pencils. As soon as the water hits the surface of the watercolor pencil, it turns it into a colorful wash. I could have used a larger brush, but I'm using a smaller brush. Now I'm going to use the uh, same brush for the tree trunk. And look at that. Look at that trunk come to life. It's reacting with the watercolor pencils. And it works well. Very nice. Now let me show you how to paint some simple pine trees. The type of trees that have long gated trunks. I'm going to start out by using this small brush. I'm mixing up a dark green color. Add a little brown to the green and make it darker green. Just like so. This dark green color will work well for the uh, tree trunks which I'll start first and then I'll add branches. A little taller. Just some vertical lines. These are the type of pine trees you see in the forest. Very narrow, long and straight. And when I'm done with these tree trunks, I'll go back with the same brush and create the evergreens branching off from the side of these tree trunks. Very simple downward strokes like this. I tried to show you very simple trees so that you can learn the basics. And the more you practice, uh, the better you'll be at painting and drawing more complicated trees with more detail. Just continue to add branches. Don't be afraid to experiment and just practice. And once I create the branches, watch what I do with a wider brush. I'm taking this flat tip brush and holding it right on the corner of the brush. See how I can create swooping branches with this wide tip brush? It's all in practicing and understanding what the tip of your brush can do. And the way you can achieve that is by practicing. This flat tip brush can create flat bold strokes as well as some very thin lines. And there you have very simple pine trees using a fine brush and a flat tip brush. Now, let's take a look at some cool fun facts about trees. Did you know that 33% of America is covered with trees? Trees are where birds build their nests and call it home. Did you know that trees are the longest living things on planet Earth? Did you know that trees sweat? They can drink up to 100 gallons a day and then sweat it. Did you know that the parts of a tree are the leaves, needles, buds, cones, flowers, branches, twigs, trunk, stem, and roots? Did you know that some trees can talk to each other? When willows are attacked by webworms and caterpillars, they admit a chemical that alerts nearby willows of the danger. Trees do not die of old age, but rather by insects oh, no. that are harmful Bugs. to their existence. Thanks for joining me today on Mike's Inspiration Station, the show that inspires your creativity. That's right, Willie. See you again real soon. So long, everybody.